Do you have lines that are more vertical and diagonal in nature versus the ones that seem to be more horizontal? So for example, if you have the typical horizontal lines across the foreheads or the 11 lines in between the brows, uh, the crow's feet around the eyes or the lines uh, typically around the mouth area, those are typically called dynamic lines or expression lines and they are brought on by repeated uh, expressions that you do, whether it's smiling, squinting, or frowning. But today we're going to be talking about some wrinkles that are not formed by repeat, repetitive expressions. They are done by compression, re repetitive compression, and shifting of the tissues. Hi, my name is Christy and I'm the owner of Go See Christy Beauty Boutique and I have been treating clients with hyperpigmentation, acne, and other skin conditions for over 11 years. And those wrinkles that we just talked about can be somewhat prevented by using sunscreens and anti-aging products um, and proper skincare. However, the wrinkles that we're going to be talking about may not be necessarily be treated with anti-aging skincare at, or even fillers. And and here's why. According to Dr. Richard Glogau, um, who, has, who is the creator of the one of the most referred to wrinkle scale, uh, he said that sleep wrinkles cannot be treated because they are not caused by repetitive contractions of the skin. They need to be prevented. Facial lines and facial imbalances are common among side sleepers and stomach sleepers. And sleep wrinkles typically can come in one to three lines in a row. So instead of sleep wrinkles being caused by repetitive expressions and crinkling of the skin in the same area over and over, sleep, sleep wrinkles are caused, so let's say you are a side sleeper. They're caused by compression and shifting of the muscles and the skin. So when you are on your side and you're pushing down, that's the compression. compression. The tissue shifting and muscle shifting is when it moves the muscle and you sleep that way every night. So they're more caused by continual uh, daily sleep habits of how you are on your face. So speaking of which, this is why sleep wrinkles do not go away if you were to put fillers in, dermal fillers in, um, it will disappear. The wrinkles will come back within a few hours because it's not the expression. It's basically the sleep habits have not changed. You put the dermal fillers in and then you go to sleep the same way. And so if you're sleeping on the same side, sleeping the same way, the actual sleep wrinkles reappear. So to illustrate my point, this picture shows of someone sleeping on their side and it shows when they're sleeping on their side, the compression is up to six to 11 pounds of compression for hours on end on one side of their face. And the friction of the skin, the shifting of the muscles and the tissue of the friction on the pillowcase. And so sometimes you may have heard of silk using silk pillowcases or non-friction pillowcases, which of course helps not drag the skin and or the hair. However, a lot of it has to do with the weight going against the pillow. So before I explain um, the differences between the sleep wrinkles and the regular wrinkles, um, if you're finding this information beneficial, then please go ahead and give us a like. And hopefully if you have not subscribed yet, uh, we hope to see you subscribing to our channel. Oh, and don't forget to hit that notification bell where you'll be notified every week when we put up a new video. Dr. Samuel Stegman, who also studied sleep creases and wrinkles, would use a hand or pillow to show where the creases were due to sleep. So if sleep wrinkles cannot be treated with dermal fillers or not be helped with anti-aging products, how do you avoid sleep wrinkles and creases or sleep creases that turn into sleep wrinkles? The first one is by not sleeping on your side or your stomach. So that's one because that's prevention. 
If you can't do that, you cannot sleep on your back, uh, there is one way that you can do it and there is a pillow that can actually help you. So full disclosure, I did receive a pillow called the Sleep and Glow Pillow, which is um, used to, they sent it to me for free and I told them I would be giving them an honest review on this and this basically helps you to sleep on your back. It's elevated so if you have any facial puffiness, it actually helps reduce that. And and on both sides, which I will be showing, it's concave so that when you sleep, the pillow doesn't touch the sides of the face. So I just received it in the mail today. And as you can see, uh, it's shaped where there's a concave in the middle and two sides here if you are a side sleeper. So here's a chart where it shows the numbers corresponding to where they have support. So number three is where the head cradle for sleeping on your back is. Number two is the zone for head positioning. And number one on either side is the face cradle for sleeping on your side. And then number four is the upper head support. Number five is the neck support. And number six is the shoulder cradle. So no matter how you sleep, it supports every single pressure point. The Super Glow Pillow actually um, has a great orthopedic effect. It is developed in collaboration with orthopedists. It gave great um, support for my neck and for my head and my side, because I am a side sleeper. Um, and it gives great protection for eyelash extension so that you don't ruin your eyelashes. The covering comes in 100% tensile or silk, and it's super soft. The weight of it is pretty substantial. It's not like the lighter weight less expensive ones that I have purchased in the past and I was not happy with it. Um, and then on the back, it has a zipper so you can unzip it and wash it. So that's great as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this pillow a try for about two weeks. I think that's a substantial amount of time to figure out if this actually works because it really does affect the puffiness of your eyes and especially if you're a side sleeper, the wrinkles that can um, appear. And if you look at your face directly in front of a mirror and you are a side sleeper, you can actually tell uh, by the amount of wrinkles that you have on the side of your face as well. So I've noticed that with myself. So I'm going to go ahead and try it out and then we'll be back to do the rest of the product review. Okay, so we've had a full day of services and I wanted to try this pillow out here at work um, because at home I can't get this shot with my assistant filming. So I, so first of all, the pillow is higher up here and it's lower here. So that's how you know that the lower part is to support your shoulders. And I'm at the side right now, so you can see that I'm totally on my side, but there's this concave area here, so your face doesn't hit any of it, so that your face is not squished at all. So I wanted to show you that. And then when I lie down, which I'm gonna show you, it is super comfortable. Um, it totally supports your neck and your head. And I have an occupation that I'm literally looking down for hours, whether I'm doing facial treatments, eyelash extensions, eyebrow waxing, I am looking down most of the time. So this pillow is a lifesaver. And I have to be honest with you, when I saw the price of this, I was a little hesitant because I thought that's on the high end for just a pillow. But after using this, I totally would pay for this pillow. And I'm not just saying that. Melissa knows me. This I would I would totally pay for. So I'm going to show you. So I'm laying on my back and it totally cradles and supports the entire neck. It feels wonderful. So I'm going to do this for two weeks and we'll see if I still like it. So we'll see you back here in two weeks. Good night. So I used the pillow for approximately two weeks now and it actually because I am working very long hours with my neck 
down, whether it's doing facials or eyelash extensions or doing someone's waxing, I'm always looking down. And so I'm always having problems with my neck. And I will say that not only did it help my neck, it actually kind of, there's like a slight elevation to it to support your neck. So it stretched out my neck a little bit, which felt really good because I think when you're looking down all the time, it really tightens your neck muscles. So that was really good. I also did see a slight reduction in puffiness. So when I eat Japanese food, which tends to be high in sodium I do notice a little bit of puffiness around my jawline and my cheeks and around my eyes and with this I did see a reduction of the puffiness around the face um, the one downside is is the so the the pillowcase is really really super soft the downside it is it is white so um, you know, I don't like white things because then stains like show up on it. Um, you can wash it um, as, you, as you saw on there. Uh, I wish that it was a darker color um, for that. The other one is, is is that when you're sleeping on your side, it does give ample room to sleep on your side so that the pillow is not completely against your the side of your face. However, if you're not exactly in that concave position, then your face might be slightly squished when it's in, in an area that it shouldn't be. So I am going to link below a 10% off code if you decide to order the pillow. Um, it is a little bit on the costly side. However, I did get better sleep and my neck didn't hurt as much. So for me, initially, if I saw the price, I wouldn't have paid that. But after using it and how it helped my sleep and my neck, I actually do think it is worth it. So if you wanna go ahead and take advantage of that offer, go ahead and click the link below. And if you haven't seen the anti-aging tips for neck and chest this pillow actually also helps with that because when you're on your side you tend to be concave and then you start to develop the um, wrinkling the vertical lines across your chest and so I do recommend looking at that video to help you with some um, tips on to help you with that and there's like a silicone gel pad that you can put on to help prevent your skin from concaving in and developing those wrinkles over time so thank you for watching this video and it is a thumbs up for this product review i did tell him it was going to be an honest review so thank you for watching and once again it's called sleep and glow pillow and remember makeup is an art and skincare is a science thanks for watching